Hello and good day everybody. Thanks again for tuning in with Built J. Today we're just going to do a quick walkthrough of the D16 motor along with the 5 speed transmission. So let me jump right into it. So I'll start off with the engine code which we have here. This is the D16 Y7 engine mounted up to a S40 single cam transmission. The VIN tag is the green tag that you see right in front of you. Down below we have the clutch slave cylinder which connects to the clutch fork therefore actuating the clutch to disengage allowing you to go into gear. This broken line here this is going to connect to your clutch master cylinder which is going to be connected to your clutch pedal therefore when you hit your clutch pedal this is actually going to push the fork out and the fork will go in to push the throw out bearing allowing you to go ahead and switch gears over here we have the headers location along with the header gasket right here this is a metal oem gasket over here we have the ac compressor along with the power steering bracket we do not have the power steering pump present but if you did see the power steering pump, it would be right here. That yellow plastic component you're seeing there, that is the oil dipstick. We'll take a move over here. And these are your timing covers. We have your camshaft cover up here. And then we have your crankshaft cover down below. We have the tensioner, which is going to tighten and loosen the belt that is connected to your AC compressor. Over here we have the crank pulley which that's going to connect all your components your AC, your alternator, and your power steering. Your AC compressor is connected to a bracket which is going to be connected to the torque mount which is connected to the vehicle. Up here we have the post mount bracket and that's going to connect to your engine mount that's connected to the driver's side. As we move up, we'll see the oil cap. That's where you're going to go ahead and fill in your oil if needed. This cover here with the Honda right on it, that is your valve cover. We'll move to the intake manifold, this whole unit over here where all these other components are connected to. That is your intake manifold. Here we have the injectors. Injectors. There's four injectors because it's a four-cylinder motor. And if you had a six-cylinder or eight-cylinder, you would have six injectors or eight injectors depending on your application. Over here, we have the throttle body. The throttle body has multiple sensors hooked up to it. And the throttle body would have a throttle cable connected to this. And that'll actuate the actual throttle. Over here, we have the IAC, which is the idle air control valve. And that's going to disperse coolant through that unit and then in back into the head. Over here we have the TPS sensor and that's actually going to tell the computer how much throttle is given when the pedal is depressed. And if that is not calibrated correctly, then your car will not react when it's supposed to when the pedal is depressed. Now on the back of the throttle body, we have the MAP sensor, that black sensor there. That is the MAP sensor. And then we also have the vacuum line that's going to be connected to the brake booster. This over here is your fuel pressure regulator, which is connected to your fuel rail. This fuel rail is going to fill up with fuel. And as the computer tells it to give that injector fuel, that injector is going to take the fuel from that fuel rail and disperse it into the cylinder head. 
Down here we have your thermostat housing along with your thermostat sensor. We'll move back up to the top here. And those red wires you're seeing, those are your spark plug wires. And those are connected to spark plugs that sit inside the cylinder head. And those spark plug wires are going to go straight to the distributor. And the distributor is going to go ahead and distribute spark to each of those cylinders in a specific order. Down below, we have your ECT sensor, which is your engine coolant temperature sensor. And then we have your coolant sensor. This sensor here is going to tell you on the cluster whether it's cold or hot. This sensor here, the engine coolant temperature sensor, is going to tell the thermostat when to open and close. So if that, that unit, if this sensor is cracked, your thermostat may not open and you may have overheating problems. So keep that in mind. Over here, we have the reverse sensor for the five-speed transmission. And what that means is when the five-speed shift linkage is put into reverse, that's going to tell the ECU to turn on the reverse lights. Take a twirl over here. This is your starter. This is the solenoid to the starter, which is actually going to actuate the starter to get the flywheel moving and rotated to start the vehicle. Down below. We have your axle seal, and then you have a non-LSD differential. If it was LSD, you would not see that bar right there. You would see right through it. Here we have the speed sensor, and this is going to tell the ECU what gear you're in. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. Down below is where your shift linkage is going to connect. You have one that's going to connect to the actual casing. The other is going to connect to a rod that sits underneath this bushing. And as we all know, there is a bitch pin under there. So have fun taking that out. This is the actual shift linkage. As we have your shift knob right up top and your shift there we have the shifter bushings these are polyurethane bushings so those are really good to have we'll make our way to the back of the motor that is your breather box that is your oil filter and above the oil filter you will see the oil sensor, which is the oil pressure sensor. That oil light comes on, that's that light telling you that there's something wrong. If you see this hole up top, let me get a closer look. Some motors have a knock sensor. There is not one present in this particular engine, but if you did have a knock sensor, in some B-series and some uh, D-series, I believe the Y8 has a knock sensor, you would have one present right here. Over here, we have the crank sensor. It mounts up to the wire harness here. It gets connected right here, and then it makes its way around the cover. As you can see, it's going down, and then it goes into that plastic cover where the sensor is hidden and protected underneath this plastic. So that essentially is a quick walkthrough of the D16 motor. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. 
That way you can see it out of the vehicle. And if you need to replace any components, I hope this video is helpful in that way for you identifying which components need replacement. Thanks again for tuning in with Built J. And you guys have yourself a fantastic day.